All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is an oil. I highly suggest a coconut oil because it's got a smoke point of about 375 degrees. Um, you can use something that's a little higher like avocado oil, but you probably don't have this laying around. And if you don't have coconut oil, I highly suggest getting it if you're gonna be cooking on stainless steel. Um, uh, olive oil has a smoke point of around 325 degrees, so you can't really get it as hot, but if if it's all you have, then yes, use extra virgin olive oil. It'll probably work just fine. Do not use vegetable oil because it is a low smoke point. It may be in between 275 degrees and 325 degrees. Um, it'll start smoking before you even can have the process. So I've been letting this get hot. It's on a medium heat. Uh, you want it to be around like a medium high heat, which is around 375 degrees. So I'm still waiting for this to heat up. So we're, we're hot. I'm gonna put my coconut oil on here. And like I said, if you don't have it, definitely get it. I'm not prepared. You can use this stuff with a knife. It's kind of like, kind of has a consistency of like a butter. So, we got it hot. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're getting the entire pan. That's just the bottom of the pan. We wanna get the entire pan. So what I'm gonna do is I have uh, a folded up paper towel and I have my, my disc scrubber. But this is basically gonna keep my hands away from the pan. I'm gonna rub this around the edges and get it going good. Now, next thing we gotta do is we gotta put salt in there. And be generous, don't, don't skimp out. Put that on there and you're gonna polish it in like this. And you're gonna basically just do it like you're trying to polish it. Really put some effort and elbow grease into it. I find that this is the best method to keep your hands away from is using a paper towel with something on top, like a, like this disc scrub. If you don't have this, um, you're gonna have to be creative. I've thought of other ways. I have used like little, uh, um, like for instance, like a jar. You can get away with it like something like that um, but now once you do this once you shouldn't have to do it very often but you'll know when you go to cook and you use it and things start to stick again that it's time to re-season your pan and you know when you're done because it's going to be a nice gleam off of it And yes, you're going to make a mess. It says salt all over. If you want to, it's probably maybe better to just put salt in one spot and then put your rag over it so that you're just using the salt right there. And then maybe add more salt and keep putting the rag over top of it. And uh, like this. And that way you're not pushing the salt around instead of actually getting in it in there and you're putting it in. This will not affect the flavor of your food by any means. Because after you're done, you're just going to take a uh, paper towel and you're going to just wipe it off and hang it up or put it away or however you store your pans. So at this point, it's pretty much done. You can see there's a nice... To be able to almost see yourself in it. Um, that's 10. Non stick. Cook an omelet. Cook an omelet.